If you're just getting started in web design and web development, you need to know the best website builder that you could get your hands on. That's why in this video, we'll be taking a look at Webflow and why it is one of the best website builders that you could get. If you're interested in web design or anything tech, make sure you hit the like on this video. Let's face it, most website builders offer templates that are rather limiting in customization, or they offer drag and drop builders that leave a lot to be desired for. Webflow is neither of those things. When we're building a website for ourselves or for our our clients, the most important thing is having the ability to customize to exactly what we like. And this is where Webflow really shines. Webflow is the closest thing to freedom that us web designers and developers get to experience and it's truly something unique on the market. And while it may not be perfect for every website genre, there are so many types of websites that could be built in Webflow way better than any other builder. If you'd like to get started with Webflow, I have a sign up link for it in the description. Let's get started with the demo. Okay, so here you could see we are at the Webflow dashboard. Once you sign up, this is what you're going to see. And off the bat, one of the coolest things that I could say is you see how there's these folders here. So I have sites that I made for Synergy specifically for my brand. And then I have client sites. There's a couple that I'm working on at the moment. And of course, you could go in here and see what we have. And if you take a look in down here, you could see that each site starts with a Webflow.io domain that you could eventually change to your actual domain once you pay for hosting. I think that's really cool that they give you this option because it allows you to build your staging site first before you go in and do anything else. So now let me go ahead and go back to all the sites here. And if you see, there's a couple things up at the top. We have a dashboard, a showcase, designers, learn, resources, which have pricing, templates, community ebooks, forum, blog, support, etc. Another cool thing about it here is you could create a team or manage separate teams within it. So if you pay for the more expensive version, this gets really complex and you could add a lot of layers to Webflow for your agency. I think it's a really great tool to have, but right now we're just on mine. So let's go ahead and create a new site and we'll see what happens when we start you're greeted with the option to have a blank site you could start with a portfolio a business starter a store starter etc i actually have a theme that i bought it's called kaka which if any of you are italian like me you would know that kaka means another thing but we can't really say that here so <laughs> yeah and then if you scroll down though there's also a lot of templates and i personally like to showcase these templates to my clients say hey let me know which one you think and then we could decide on a template from there that way it speeds up the process for both of us i don't do this all the time it depends on the price of the contract that i work it depends on what i'm doing in particular, but I do like to do this because it allows them to see actual Webflow production sites and go from there. So as you see, there's a ton of not only just free templates, but there's also e-commerce templates, agency, etc. It goes on and on. We're going to start with something simple. We're just going to start with this velocity template right here, and I'm just going to leave a Jerry Sublime site because I'm going to delete this later. So let's see. It's creating the site. You see it's loading in. And then once it does eventually load in after it builds out that template, you'll see you're greeted with this really cool graphical UI right here. Okay, so this is where we build. You have on the side, on this left-hand side, you have your body. You have, um, it's a navigator, which allows you to click into sub-containers. Like, for instance, we're hovering over this container here, and you can see all the elements in it, like this H1 heading. Now, I clicked into it, right? And you see over here, this is where you get crazy with design. So let's go ahead and let's just change this font off the bat to, uh, let's go to Roboto, and let's change it to 500 and let's make it 100 and let's see. So now off the bat, you could just design very simply. And what I like before I get even any further is this looks a lot like something you'd see with Figma or Sketch or something like that. It allows for all of this flexibility. And if we scroll through, there's a lot that you could do here. I mean, you could create a color background on just that H1 heading if you want, which I wouldn't do, but you, <laughs> you could do that. I think it obviously looks terrible, but I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And then obviously these are just some buttons you could change, etc. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into this in a moment. So if, if I click on this plus button up in the top left, you're greeted with sections, containers, grids, columns, 
Um, and then in basic, you have div blocks, which div blocks in Webflow are very important. They allow for everything. You see, what's great about Webflow is it's really based in CSS, and it really makes it feel like you're just looking at visual code, but it's easy and intuitive enough for anyone to use it and not feel too overwhelmed. May I say, there is definitely a learning curve with Webflow, but once you get used to it, it is very easy to use. Now, as you see, if we're scrolling down, there's typography like headings, text, text blocks, etc. Then you have CMS items, which are great for, say, you have a real estate listing website. You could create collection lists of whatever you'd like, and there's ways in the back end to create those listings. So it's not just for agency sites. It's not just for or, I don't know, marketing sites, etc. cetera. It, it could be used in real estate environments. It could be used in blog photography environments. It's really, really dynamic. Um, the only thing I wouldn't really recommend Webflow for is specifically just e-commerce. I don't think their platform is mature enough for e-commerce and there's a lot of room for it to grow. But right now, I wouldn't really be building e-commerce sites too much in Webflow. You could, there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't think it is the best tool if you're wanting to track inventory, if you're wanting to stay up to date with what you're selling, etc. all that stuff. I think a better tool is Shopify. It's easier to use for the masses, but for literally everything else, I think Webflow is the perfect tool. So if we scroll through, there's a lot here that you could see as well, like forms, um, components and things like that. So let's take a look in let's move down just a little bit more so if i go over here to the pages tab and sorry about my dogs barking in this you'll see i have a couple pages static pages such as home such as contact utility password and you could switch around from page to page here and edit as you please now another really cool thing about webflow is it allows you to design based off a specific view you're on so right now i'm taking a look at what it would look like to view on a computer but we could also look at tablet mode we could look at landscape landscape um, phone mode or you could look at regular phone mode and the cool thing is there's a selector on the side that shows you phone sizes like right now we're looking at the iPhone 12 mini 13 mini which I'm actually using to record right now um, and then it goes up to 11 pro etc all of these so you could see what your website would look like at different sizes and from there let's just say you're editing the phone size you could just edit edit that and not worry about the rest of your design say in desktop mode being impacted so what i do what i change here does not affect anything else within the website so again just to take a look at some of the customization you could do here we have spacing on the side we have sizing positioning typography backgrounds borders and effects and what's really cool about webflow is they have a ton of amazing transitions that you could make To show you a quick demo of this, I want to show you my agency site that I'm currently working on, and it's going to be synergydigital.webflow.io at the moment. Um, obviously, that's going to change, but you see when it loads in here, you had that really cool pop-up effect. Now, let's scroll through. First things first, before we even do, you see my mouse is not the normal mouse. I think that's a really easy and cool thing you could do in Webflow. Everyone loves dark mode and light mode, so why not have both? This is a really cool thing that Webflow allows you to do. You have to learn how to do it. It and it takes a little bit of a learning curve, but you could add a light mode and a dark mode and it could go based off of your browser settings. So if your Mac is currently set to dark mode, it will by default go into dark mode. Now let's look at this hamburger menu. When you click in, you see that really cool animation. These things aren't possible. I mean, they are possible, but they're very hard to do in sites like WordPress, definitely Wix and things like that. Now let's scroll through. You see, this is really cool animation. You have a parallax effect on the photo itself. And same with the others you scroll through. There's a nice parallax. Same with all of these. You see, I'm still working on it as we speak. Now that we've taken a look at both a demo site that we're working on and the builder itself, I want to show you some of the other features of Webflow that make it truly unique. So if you go over here to the top left corner of the dashboard and you click on project settings, you can see this will take you to where everything really is that you need. You have your general settings such as the site's name, subdomains, a folder that you could place it in. Like right now I have client sites and I have synergy sites. We could place it in one or the other. Now down here you have your icons that you could set, you have your 
time zone stuff like that. If we go over here to hosting, this is where it gets interesting. So Webflow by default, the hosting is built in and there's a mix between normal website hosting with CMS and e-commerce website hosting and the prices vary dramatically. So let's take a look right now at the website hosting. This is separate from the Webflow plan itself and we're going to get to Webflow's pricing soon. But right now when we're taking a look, you could see that these are basic hosting plans, just hosting. So you have the basic, you have the CMS, which you need this one if you have blogs, you need this one if you have real estate listings, things like that, any CMS items, you need this one because the basic one doesn't have these features. Um, then there's business and enterprise, that's where it gets kind of crazy. So I, by default, because I like having blogs on my sites for SEO purposes, um, I would go with the CMS, $16 a month. Now the very, very, very cool thing about web Webflow, and we're going to get back to the other prices in a minute, but the very cool thing about Webflow is if I go over here to the billing tab, you can see there's past invoices and billing. What is really cool is if you're building a site for a client, you could upcharge the hosting. So say it's $16 a month, just by default, that's the uh, CMS plan. You could charge $24 a month. You can make some profit on top of hosting just so you could support yourself. I think this is a really amazing feature that's built into the website builder. You do not see that anywhere else. It, it is really something unique, something cool. So now let me just run back to hosting really quickly just to show you some of the e-commerce packages. And again, I don't really like e-commerce here too much but some people might use it totally fine just not my preference uh, um, before I click it you see I'm on the annual if you go to monthly it's $20 a month build month to month I don't know why you would do that annual is just an easier overall thing to do anyway let's click on e-commerce and you see over here the standard is $29 a month this does come with the CMS plan from the website builder so you already have CMS by default obviously because these are basically CMS items they just charge then you have $74 a month and $212 a month now that we've taken a basic look there's some other stuff like really quickly we're gonna look at fonts just because you could add any Google font ever which is really cool um, or you could go ahead and add custom fonts Adobe fonts if you have the API token or other stuff as well I really think it's great that they they feature this just right in their designer um, and then you have backups integrations and custom code if you feel so adventurous so now just really quickly I want to show you the showcase here so this is where some of the best work lives some of the best stuff that people have built lives right in here and you can see there's a lot of options if you wanted something like this as your tab bar let me show you you could just clone a design like this and copy it into your website so let's view this on the front end you see there's these tabs at the bottom you click on it and it works like this really cool so essentially what i could do is copy this just command c and obviously it didn't work because i need to go in a slight different way but if i wanted to i could copy this and then I could just paste it onto my website, which is amazing. I could paste from website to website. So that's the cool thing about Showcase. There's a lot to offer in Showcase itself. And there's actually templates that aren't found in the templates page here as well. So there's a lot to choose from just by default. So before we wrap up, I just want to quickly talk about pricing. And we're here on the pricing page right now. And like I mentioned, hosting is separate. So these, what we're looking at at this very moment is actual webflow the plans themselves just to use webflow it starts free there's one seat and you get two unhosted sites um, with it these this is great for when you're just building your agency's site or something and you're not ready to actually publish you could do it right here with the starter package um, and then it goes up to core if it's billed yearly um, it's $19 per month. You get up to three seats, 10 unhosted sites, billing permissions, custom code, code export. I mean, then it goes up to growth as well. So let's just say theoretically, you're paying basically $20 a month for the core package. And then on top of it, you're paying for CMS hosting right here, which is let's, let's do annually. It's $16 per month. That's, that's $35 per month just for one website. Um, and then obviously every other website you build, it's that hosting on top of it. Um, but really odds are you're just using this to build one of your websites. And then from there you're building a client site or something like that. So 
yeah, um, these are the pricing packages. Again, they go they go up as as needed. There's an enterprise package, but I don't see any of us needing that. Let me just show you these monthly plans. Core is $28, build monthly, $60 if you use the growth, or you could contact us. So that's basically Webflow. We have the pricing down. I showed you the showcase, the templates, and the builder itself. All right, so now that you've seen Webflow, what do you think? Make sure you let me know in the comments, and if you want to sign up, there's a link in the description for you. And that just about wraps up my review of Webflow and why I think it's one of the best website builders on the market. If you thought this was helpful, make sure you smash a like on this video, and thank you so much for watching.